Hi, welcome to Learn Online. This is the third power set of ours on 21 day power set where we'll be dealing with reasoning questions. Before we move any further, I'd like to tell you that the questions yesterday were not posted, but today they have been posted. Uh, they were posted one hour before the video is being released. So I will, I think many of you would have tried uh, solving those questions and let's see what is the difference uh, what is the difference in the approach or timing with respect to timing uh, you'll find after this session of ours yes so let's start with the first question that we have here uh, we are going to start with a question on uh, circular arrangement and the question will be something like this the question says eight person m n o p q r s and t are sitting around a circular table at equal distance between each other okay there are eight person m to t sitting at equal distance between each other but not necessarily in the same order okay some of them are facing center while some others are facing outside kuch log andar dekh rahe hain to kuch log bahar dekh rahe hain aage badhte hain r is sitting second to the right of q r jo hai second to the right of q so first thing first i would like to take two dear circles of mine and make eight people sit around it how do i make it possible eight people i have to just draw these lines and these will be my people yes can we do this quickly yes since we do not know the direction in which they are facing because some people are out and some people are in we'll keep it the way it is okay now now let's move ahead with the statements that we have we will make uh, every statement we will take down every statement that is given there r is sitting second to the right of q yes r is sitting second to the right of q so my q will be here first to the right second to the right r is sitting here and with respect to whom is he sitting to the right to q so i will show this arrow mark here yes going with the next statement only three person are sitting between r and s only three person are sitting between r and s so i quickly draw r here three person one two three and s three person are sitting between r and s next t is sitting second to the right of r t is sitting second to the right of r to the right of r second to the right first to the right second to the right who is here t is here right of r i'm denoting it with the arrow mark right of r next thing T is sitting second to the right of R. T faces the center. T faces the center. R T faces the center. I am pointing it with an arrow pointing in the center, and T is facing the center. So let's move ahead. देखते हैं क्या लिखा है next. T facing the center. R and S face opposite directions. R और S opposite direction face कर रहे हैं. तो मुझे करना क्या है? R और S के बीच में एक line draw करना है, और उसके ऊपर लिखना है opposite. R and S face opposite direction. तो आगे पढ़ते हैं R and S face opposite direction. P and S face opposite direction. Okay. P and S they face opposite direction. P and S face opposite direction. Okay. The next thing. N is sitting second to the left of P. N is sitting second to the left of P. Left of P. First to the left. Second to the left. N is sitting second to the left of p next n is sitting second to the left of p p is not an immediate neighbor of q p is not an immediate neighbor of q so how do we represent it q yahan pe bana lo yahan pe bana lo not an immediate neighbor cross mark dal do next p is not an immediate neighbor of q only one person is sitting between p and o p or o ke beech mein ek hi aadmi baitha hua hai only one person is sitting between p and o the next thing o is the o is not an immediate neighbor of q o is not an immediate neighbor of q how will we represent that we will represent that o is not an immediate neighbor of q nahi hai wo nahi hai matlab cross mark dal ke maine represent kar diya aage padhte hain m is sitting third to the left of t m is sitting third to the left of t m is sitting third to the left of t first first to the left second to the left third to the left who is here M is here. M is sitting third to the left of T. Left of T. Mark करना मत भूलिएगा. M is sitting third to the left of T. The immediate neighbors of T face opposite direction. Immediate neighbors of T they are facing. 
जो अगल बगल बैठे हैं ठीक है जो भी है वो दोनों ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन फेस कर रहे हैं ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन फेस कर रहे हैं तो आगे अगर मैं क्वेश्चन देखू अरे क्वेश्चन में कोई दिक्कत आ रही है क्वेश्चन हमें दिखाई क्यों नहीं दे रहा यस यस आ गया वापस ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन द इमीडिएट द इमीडिएट नेबर्स ऑफ टी फेस ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन ये हमने बना दिया है आगे देखते हैं एम एंड आर फेस ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन एम एंड आर फेस ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन एम एंड आर दे आर फेसिंग ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन आई वुड लाइक टू रिप्रेजेंट इट लाइक दिस एम एंड आर आर फेसिंग ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन एन फेस इज द सेम डायरेक्शन एज दैट ऑफ ओ एम एम एंड आर पहले कहीं पे लिखा है कि मैंने एम एंड आर नहीं लिखा है तो इसलिए मैंने बना लिया ये फेस कर रहे ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन लिख लेते हैं नेक्स्ट एन फेस इज द सेम डायरेक्शन एज दैट ऑफ ओ एन फेस इज द सेम डायरेक्शन एज दैट ऑफ ओ इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट डायरेक्शन सो एल राइट डायरेक्शन हियर दिस इज ऑल्सो टॉकिंग अबाउट डायरेक्शन सो एल राइट डायरेक्शन हियर यस नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू मीगरली अप्लाई देम हियर एंड गेट टू आर answer so let's start with uh, where do we start with we know one person t who is facing towards center so let's start with t my t if is here and he is facing center yes t can be here i am keeping the t here and he is facing center yes any problem now is there anything with respect to t that you have to write any yes i have a knowledge that kon baitha hai t ke third to the right mein baitha hai m T third to the right who is sitting third to the right of T who is sitting M is sitting so what is right of T this is first to the right second to the right third to the right who is sitting T is sitting uh, M is sitting M is sitting yes third to the right of T first to the right second to the right third to the right who is sitting M is sitting M is sitting third to the right of ओके थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट लिखा हुआ है ओके दिस गाइस इज टू द लेफ्ट राइट थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट सो दिस विल बी फर्स्ट टू द लेफ्ट सेकंड टू द लेफ्ट थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट सो हियर विल बी एम दिस इज नॉट एम वी रेड द स्टेटमेंट दैट वी हैव रिटर्न रॉन्गली यस सो टी विल बी थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ एम टी विल बी थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ एम सो लेफ्ट ऑफ एम थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ एम विल बी वेयर it will be here now the next statement what we can make it out r and s are in opposite is there anything uh, that we can write with respect to t yes second to the right of r t is there second to the right of r t is there if r is here if r is here let me put my r here then second to the right second to the right t must be there so in which direction should r be facing R must be facing outwards. R must be facing outwards. If R is facing outwards, first to the right, second to the right, I left T. There is another possibility. R can also be facing inwards. If R is facing inwards, if R is facing inwards, where will be R? R has to be here, and then second to the right, second to the right will be T. First to the right and second to the right will be T. So R will be here. R can either be here or here. Yes, both the conditions are possible. So I am doing two diagrams now. Our two diagrams have started up. Now, let's see. Between R and S, there are three people. Between R and S, without thinking, I can write it here. S here, S here. Why? Whichever way you count, one, two, three, or from below, one, two, three. S will come exactly in the opposite direction. S will come exactly in the opposite direction. So I have written directly. Three people between R and S. I have written. Uh, s oppositely here yes now let's see next statement what we can fit in here so now q and r q r sits r sits second to the right of q r sits second to the right of q now second to the right of q meaning between r there should be a position which should be two places away two places away second to the right Yes. So here or here. Here the position has already been taken by Q. So Q must come here. Q must come here for sure. And Q to have R on its right side. In which direction should it be facing? It should be facing. 
it should be facing away from the center or outside. So this will be right and second to the right will be R, first to the right, second to the right is R. So what will come here? Q will come here. When it comes here, when it comes here, can I place my Q? Where do I place my Q such that R is second to its right? So now, if Q is placed here, if Q is placed here and he is facing inwards, and he is facing inwards, first to the right, second to the right, first to the right, second to the right, I'll get my R. I'll get my R. But is there any condition that defies Q from being here near M? No. So we can still move ahead. We can still move ahead. So have a look. R and S, this condition of ours is done. R and S are facing opposite direction. So I can fulfill it here. If R is facing outward, then S will be facing inward. Here R is facing inward. So R is facing inward. So S will be facing outward. Yes. So now next condition R and T, it is also done. R, uh, R and T, it is done. T is second to the right of R. That is done. Next P and N. Second to the left of P, second to the left of P is N. Second to the left of P is N. The next condition says, second to the right of O, second to the right of O, left of, left of P is occupied. Meaning, in which, what is the available position for O? Only right. So, I am taking it now. I am making it that it will be for sure if there is a second, O has to sit in second position from second to the right or left right of p then it must be on right side only there is no left option left ke liye option hi bacha nahi hai kyun kyunki left option n ne le rakha hai so dekhiye ab first to the left of p first to the left of p is n and for second to the left of p is n and second to the right of p is o so start thinking what can we do we need how many positions for sure we need a position where I can place P, I can place P and after one place there should be a gap on the right side and left side. So where is that position? This is the only position. This is the only position. Is there any such spot here? Is there any such spot here? Yes, it is there. I can place it here. But if you see, P cannot come again. Uh, uh, side by to Q. Is there any condition that defies it here from being P being there? No. So let's move ahead. Let's move ahead. So now to the left of P, P, N should be to the left of P. Should, to the left of P, N should be there. If N is facing inward, if N is facing inward, so it will be, this will be its right. This will be its right. Right second, who should be there? O should be there. Can my O come here? Wait, is there any condition which defies? Yes. O cannot come next to, O cannot, O cannot come next to Q. O cannot come next to Q. So my P has to face outwards. So my P has to face outwards and to the right, right I will have O and O if I have here to the left, second to the left I will have who? I will have N. N raga second to the left. Me. Now, moving ahead. Okay, it is done. It is solved now. So it is left out about directions now. So to solve the directions, let's see something about directions. P and S are facing opposite directions. P and S, P and S are facing opposite directions. It is done. N and O face same directions. N and O face same directions. If we know direction of one of them, we can replace it. So let's try to find something related to yes T. The person sitting neighbors of T are facing opposite direction. One neighbor is facing, one neighbor of T, that is P, he is facing outside. Outside, bahar dekh raha hai, to O kaan dekhe ga? O, andar dekhe ga. Agar O andar dekh raha hai, if O is looking inwards, then the direction of N must also be similar to it and which will be inwards as well. So this question, we could solve with what? The data that, have, that we have derived here. Yes, any question that is posed at you, try to break it into these, uh, these, these parts and then the amalgamation of it will give you perfect answers. So, you can try out the questions that are listed out in the PDF. We will go with the next question that we have.
सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव हियर इज ऑन स्क्वायर टेबल सर्कुलर अरेंजमेंट के दो क्वेश्चन हमने किए अब हम लेंगे स्क्वायर स्क्वायर या फिर रेक्टेंगल दोनों एक ही है अब हमारे लिए चाहे स्क्वायर बनाओ या रेक्टेंगल सेम आंसर आंसर तो सेम ही आएगा चलो देखते हैं पहला क्वेश्चन क्या बोलता है सो so, पहला क्वेश्चन एट फ्रेंड्स पी क्यू आर एस टी वी डब्ल्यू एंड वाई आर सेटिंग अराउंड स्क्वायर टेबल आर सेटिंग अराउंड स्क्वायर टेबल चलो जल्दी से मैं अपना एक प्यारा सा स्क्वायर टेबल बना लेता हूं दिस इज द स्क्वायर टेबल दैट आई हैव हियर ओके हाउ मेनी पीपल आउट ऑफ एट फोर पर्सन आर सेटिंग एट द कॉर्नर ऑफ द टेबल एंड अदर फोर आर सेटिंग एट द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ईच साइड ऑफ द टेबल मतलब क्या मतलब ये है कि फोर पीपल आर सिटिंग एट द कॉर्नर्स दीज आर द कॉर्नर्स ऑफ द स्क्वायर यस फोर पीपल आर सिटिंग एट द कॉर्नर्स एंड फोर पीपल आर सिटिंग एट द मिड पॉइंट मिड पॉइंट सो सिमिलरली हियर एज वेल फोर पीपल आर सिटिंग एट द कॉर्नर्स एंड फोर पीपल आर सिटिंग एट द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द साइड ऑफ द टेबल सो ना पर्सन एट द कॉर्नर्स आर फेसिंग द सेंटर पर्सन एट द corners are facing the center while the person at the midpoints midpoints of the side are facing outside midpoints are facing outside midpoints are facing outside the people at the corner are facing inside inside yes yes now let's have a look Out of eight, it is done outside. हो गया. S is the data starts here. S is third to the right of P. S is third to the right of P. P first to the right, second to the right, third to the right. S is third to the right of P. Third to the right of P. The next data, what does it say? P is P is facing the center. Crucial data. P is facing the center. P अंदर की ओर देख रहा है. P is facing the center why is not sitting beside p or s why is not sitting not sitting beside p or s to matlab why yahan nahi aa sakta yahan nahi aa sakta yahan nahi aa sakta yahan nahi aa sakta to main sab ko cross mark bana deta hu in charo jagahon par agar yahan pe space hota to yahan pe why nahi aa sakta hai we know this now next why is not sitting beside p or s t is third to the right of r t is third to the right of r R first to the right, second to the right, third to the right. Who is here? T is here. Third to the right of R. बन गया अपना third to the right of R. Third T is third to the right of R. R is not sitting at the midpoint of any side of the table. R is not sitting at any of the midpoint of any side of the table. मतलब क्या है? अगर R midpoint पे नहीं बैठा है, R midpoint पे नहीं बैठा है. तो इसका मतलब यह है कि ये कॉर्नर पे बैठा है R सिटिंग इन द कॉर्नर इफ इट इज नॉट इफ इज नॉट सिटिंग इन द मिड पॉइंट इट मीन दैट वो कॉर्नर पे बैठा है वो कॉर्नर पे बैठा है आगे चलते हैं R इज नॉट सिटिंग एट द आर इज नॉट सिटिंग एट द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ एनी साइड ऑफ द टेबल R इज ऑल्सो नॉट बिसाइड Y. R इज ऑल्सो नॉट बिसाइड Y. Y इन दो जगहों पर नहीं आ सकता क्योंकि R is also not beside Y. R is also not beside Y. There is only one person between P and V. There is only one person between P and V. There is only one person between P and V. वो direction उसने बोला नहीं है तो मैं ऐसे ही रख रहा हूँ इसे. वो बोला V यहाँ पे भी आ सकता है one person छोड़के लेकिन बस उसने इतना data दिया है कि there is only one person between P and V. So I have represented it like this. So आगे बढ़ते हैं. There is only one person between P and V. Q is not sitting beside V. Q is not sitting beside V. मतलब क्या है? Q is not sitting beside V. मतलब Q यहाँ और यहाँ दोनों जगहों पर नहीं आ सकता. नहीं आ सकता. तो क्यों इन दोनों जगहों पर यहां अगर स्पेस होता तो यहां नहीं आ सकता सो so, बहुत लोगों का दोस्तों ये प्रश्न आपके दिमाग में होगा अब कि मैं स्टार्ट कहां से करूं मैं स्टार्ट कहां से करूं स्टार्ट इससे करो जिसका डायरेक्शन हमें पता है किसका पता है पी का पता है पी अंदर देख रहा है पी अंदर देख रहा है तो कहां पर बैठा है कॉर्नर टेबल के कॉर्नर पे ही बैठा है तो मैं बना देता हूं पी यहां पर बैठा है कॉर्नर पे इस जगह पर भी मैं पी यहां पर ले लेता हूँ मैं दो कंडीशन ले रहा हूँ साइमल्टेनियसली अगर जरूरत पड़ी तब यूज करेंगे वरना इसको ऐसे ही छोड़ देंगे ठीक है चलिए देखते हैं एस सिट्स थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ पी थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ पी 
ये फर्स्ट टू द राइट है सेकेंड टू द राइट है थर्ड टू द राइट है कौन बैठा है यहाँ पर एस बैठा है एस सिट्स थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ पी एस सिट्स थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ पी जल्दी से यहाँ पे भी बना लेता ठीक है आगे देखते हैं आगे क्या बोलता है आगे बोलता है आगे इसी कंडीशन को थोड़ा आगे लेके जाता हूं मैं आगे इसी कंडीशन को थोड़ा आगे लेके जाता हूं वही पी के अगल बगल नहीं बैठ सकता और एस के अगल बगल नहीं बैठ सकता अगर मैं देखूं तो कौन सी जगह है वो कौन सी जगह है जहां पर वही नहीं आ सकता यहाँ पे वही नहीं आ सकता यहाँ पे वही नहीं आ सकता एस के बगल में यहाँ पे नहीं आ सकता वही और यहाँ पर भी नहीं आ सकता वही तो वही आ कहा सकता है वही आ सकता है इस कॉर्नर पे या फिर यहाँ पे दो ही जगह तो मैं दो कंडीशन लेने पड़ गए अब मुझे अब वही या फिर इस कॉर्नर पे बैठ सकता है या फिर वही इस जगह पे बैठ सकता है समझ रहे आप समझ रहे आप वही वही पी के अगल बगल नहीं आ सकता ना एस के अगल बगल आ सकता है तो आ कहा सकता है वही वही इन दो जगहों पर आ सकता है हा? अब इन दो जगह पर मुझे दो कंडीशन बनाने पड़ेंगे एक तो आएगा वाई कॉर्नर पे दूसरा तो आएगा मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द टेबल पे साइड साइड के मिड मिडल में हाँ जी आगे अब तो आगे देखते हैं ये अपना कंडीशन पूरा ही खत्म हो गया तो दूसरे कंडीशन पे चलते हैं आर इज सिटिंग एट द कॉर्नर आर इज सिटिंग एट द कॉर्नर आर इज सिटिंग एट द कॉर्नर आर मतलब यहां यहां इन दो जगहों पर कहीं पर आर बैठा है इन दो जगहों पर कहीं पर आर बैठा है लेकिन आप देखिए थर्ड टू द राइट पे थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ आर पे टी होना चाहिए अगर मैं यहाँ पे आर बनाता हूं थर्ड टू द राइट फर्स्ट टू द राइट सेकंड टू द राइट थर्ड टू द राइट हाँ टी बन सकता है यहाँ पे आर बनाता हूँ फर्स्ट टू द राइट सेकंड टू द राइट थर्ड टू द राइट हाँ यहाँ पे भी आर बन सकता है तो मैं डिसाइड कैसे करूंगा अब इसको उसको डिसाइड करने से पहले मैं देखता हूं कोई और कंडीशन है जो इसको फेल कर सकता है तो देखते हैं अब पी से एक छोड़ के वी बैठा है पी से एक छोड़ के वी बैठा है V sitting, एक छोड़ एक छोड़ के V बैठा मतलब V sitting, ओ, ओ, there is only one person between P and V, one person between P and V ये वाला तो ब्लॉक्ड है यहाँ पे Y बैठा हुआ है ऑलरेडी तो P के साथ V एक छोड़ के कहा बैठ सकता है तो V भाई यहीं पे आएगा यहीं पे आएगा क्योंकि क्योंकि P बैठा है एक छोड़कर V से एक छोड़कर V वाला ये वाला पोजीशन मैंने लेफ्ट साइड वाला पोजीशन भरा हुआ है तो वो आएगा कहां पे राइट साइड पे तो वो आ गया और राइट साइड पे आ गया तो मतलब ये आर तो मेरा यहाँ पर आ ही नहीं सकता आर यहाँ पर आ ही नहीं सकता अगर आर यहाँ पे नहीं आ सकता तो और कहां पे आ सकता है यहाँ पे क्यों आर कहां पे आ सकता है जिससे बनेगा ये थ्री थर्ड टू द राइट पे आएगा टी अगर मैं अपना अब कॉर्नर पे ही बैठना है मतलब आर आएगा कॉर्नर पे ही आएगा तो एक ही कॉर्नर अपना खाली पड़ा है यहाँ पे आर आएगा अब थर्ड टू द राइट राइट कौन सा है आर का पहला राइट सेकेंड राइट थर्ड राइट यहाँ पे आएगा कौन यहाँ पे आ गया अपना टी आर के अगल बगल में वाई नहीं होना चाहिए हो तो हो गया कंडीशन अब है अब है पी से ये हो गया अब बचे बचे कौन है बचे कौन है देखते हैं बचे कौन है अब बचे हुए हमारे अपने क्यू और बचा हुआ है W Q और W बचे हुए हैं Q और W के बारे में कुछ कंडीशन है क्या देखते हैं Q Q V के अगल बगल नहीं आ सकता तो Q कहा आएगा Q यहीं पे आएगा Q यहीं पे आएगा अगर Q यहां पे आ गया तो आखिरी वाला W यहां पे आएगा लो बन गया दिस इज दिस इज कंप्लीटली डन लेट चेक विद कंडीशन अगेन कंडीशन देख लेते हैं एस इट्स थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ P एस इट्स थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ P फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ पी इज एस अगेन वाई इज नॉट एन इमीडिएट नेबर ऑफ पी और एस पी और एस वाई इज नॉट एन इमीडिएट नेबर डन आर सिट टी सिट्स थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ टी टी सिट्स थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ टी टी सिट्स थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ आर आई एम सॉरी फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड ये भी हो गया वन पर्सन देर इज ओनली वन पर्सन बिटवीन पी एंड वी देर इज ओनली वन पर्सन बिटवीन पी एंड वी एंड क्यू डज नॉट सिट बिसाइड वी क्यू डज नॉट सिट बिसाइड वी क्यू सिट्स यर इट्स डन सो दीज क्वेश्चन आर ऑल्सो क्वेश्चन ऑन दीज आर ऑल्सो प्रोवाइडेड इन द शीट दैट हेज बिन प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो टेक दैट शीट यूज दिस डायग्राम ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट अगेन एंड आंसर द क्वेश्चन वील सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आफ्टर यू टेक इट डाउन टेक इट डाउन
ओके येस्टरडे वी हैपन टू सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन ऑन लीनियर अरेंजमेंट सर्कुलर अरेंजमेंट यस एंड यस वी सॉल्व दीज टू टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन टूडे वील ऑल्सो सी पैरल अरेंजमेंट पैरल अरेंजमेंट क्वेश्चन वेर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज समथिंग लाइक दिस यस क्वेश्चन एट फ्रेंड्स एट फ्रेंड्स पी एम आर टी क्यू यू वी डब्ल्यू एट फ्रेंड्स आर देर आर सिटिंग इन टू ऑपोजिट रोज facing each other two opposite rows let me draw two opposite rows here and they are facing each other they are facing each other eight friends meaning i have to divide them four four yes 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 i am taking these two if there are any possibilities i will use like i always tell if not you have to ignore them okay facing each other each row has four person Each row has four person. I've already done it. P is between P is between U and V. U and V. P is between U and V. Yes. And is facing north. And V is facing north. And V is facing north. V is facing north. V is facing north. Meaning V is in the V is in the low row, which is below. Row which is below, yes. W is W is W is opposite to Q. W is opposite to opposite to Q. I am representing opposite like this. You can represent it any way you are comfortable. Just that you memorize it that way. Use it again and again so that you can whenever you see an opposite there, you will be able to put it up like this. Yes. W is opposite to Q. Who is the immediate? Who is to the immediate left of R? Now, this is who, and it is a pronoun. So, who will replace it? The person who is there. Q is to the immediate left of M. Q is to the immediate left of M. Immediate left. So, there is no space that I am leaving in between them, and I'll draw M here. Immediate left of M. I'll give you a direction as well. Q is to the uh, yes. W is to the, W is to W is opposite to Q. W is opposite to Q. Who is to the immediate left of M? Who is to the immediate left of M? Yes. R is between T and M. R is between T and M. R is between T and M. Yes. R is between T and M. W is to the immediate right of V. W is to the immediate right of V. immediate right of v okay w is to the immediate right of v these are the conditions that we have got here so where will you start from where will you start from start thinking u p and v if v is facing north then all these u p also must be facing north yes so what are the two ways they can sit it can either be u p v or it can be u p v these are the only two ways they can sit UPV or UPV is facing north. These are people who are facing north. This is the only way. Now, other than that, now W. Next condition. We'll go with the next condition. So the next condition says TRM. Uh, uh, next condition says V. Immediate to the right of V, we have W. So who will be here? W will be here. Immediate to the right of V there is W and I have replaced here. Immediate to the right of V we have W. So bottom row is done, almost done. So opposite to W will be who? Q. Opposite to W will be Q. This one has already gone wrong because I do not have a position. I do not have a position. Immediate right of immediate right of V. I do have a position here. No. So this has gone wrong. So this has to be right. So let's check. And M has to Q has to sit. First to the left. Q can't be better. First to the left of first to the left of M. First to the left of M. So M will be here. So this will be left and this will be right here in this case. Yes. Unless and until you get familiar with the directions, you can draw a reference reference for that matter and use it. And after that, eventually you will you you yourself uh, 
remember that whenever a person is facing looking downwards this will be right and this will be left so who else is left out there are two people r is between t and m so there is only one position where t can come and r can come here the question is solved the question is solved so easy question on parallel arrangement next question that we will look into yes you have to solve the questions that are in the description that the page is given you you can take up the you can download the file that is given to you there or copy and paste it from the drive uh, link that we have given and try to solve these questions on your own and also apply the approach that we are following here try to solve the questions that are addressed below these yes well Welcome back guys. So the next question that we have here is, let's uh, have the question here, yes. The question says something like this, there are 12 people. It's, it's a question on parallel row arrangement and the number of people are increased and the number of conditions are more here. So let's try to solve this. 12 people are sitting in two parallel rows consisting of six people each such that they are equidistant from each other. Okay. In row 1, P, Q, R, S, T, V are seated and all of them are facing south. Okay, if P, Q, R, S, T are facing south, jaldi bataiye, A, B, C, D or A, B, C, D, F, kaan face karenge? A, B, C, D, F face karenge? North. So, next. Therefore, in the given seating arrangement, each member seated in the row faces another member of another row. Matlab, bol rai ki aamne saamne bait hai. कितने हो गए? एक दो तीन चार पांच छः और छः। Yes, one two three four five six one two three four five six Yes, सब आमने सामने बैठे हैं ये बोल रहे हैं। अगला statement क्या बोलता है देखते हैं। S sits third to the right of Q. S sits third to the right of Q. S sits third to the right of Q. First to the right, second to the right of Q, S it's third to the right of Q. The next statement. Either S or Q sit at sit at an extreme end of the line. Either S or Q sit at extreme end of the line. Yes. Matlab, S or Q betenge, kaapa betenge, apne upper wale room betenge. Or ye akri chor pe betenge paka. In dono me se koi ek, koi ek, S or Q. Are sitting at the extreme end of the line. दोनों में से कोई एक बैठा हुआ है। वो एक कौन है? अभी नहीं पता हमें। तो आगे बढ़ते हैं। आगे बढ़ने पे क्या मिलेगा? The one who faces Q, the one who faces Q sits second to the right of E. The one who faces Q, the one who faces Q, okay? The one who faces Q. I do not know who this is. That is not given to us. Sits second to the right of E. Sits second to the right of E. E first to the right, second to the right. So, second to the right, the one who faces Q sits second to the right of E. That is done here. The next statement. Next statement is, yes. If two people sit between B and F, two, two people sit between B and F. Between B and F, there are two people. Yes. These two people can be on this side or this side. I have written it the, as the way the statement is given and we will see in the time to come with other statements what how, how well it can be narrowed down. Or kya kam kar sakte hai? Neither B nor F sit at extreme ends of the line. Neither B nor F sit at extreme ends of the line. They do not sit at the extreme ends. Neither B nor F, they sit at the extreme ends of the line. Okay. So, ho kya sakta hai? Ek to humara condition ye jo hai, ye mein seedha utha ke arak sakta hai? हाँ रख सकता हूँ। P और F ऐसे भी हो सकता है, या फिर क्या हो सकता है? ये F यहाँ पर आ सकता है, और B यहाँ पर आ सकता है। 
दो ही कंडीशन बनेंगे दो ही कंडीशन बनेंगे दो ही कंडीशन बनेंगे इसलिए मैंने यहां पे उसको अभी रख दिया आगे देखते हैं आगे देखते हैं क्या है नीजर बी और एफ सेट एट द एक्सट्रीम एंड ऑफ द लाइन द इमीडिएट नेबर ऑफ बी द इमीडिएट नेबर ऑफ बी फेसेस द पर्सन हु सिट्स थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ बी द इमीडिएट द इमीडिएट नेबर ऑफ बी जो भी अपना बी है उसका इमीडिएट नेबर जो भी है ही सिट्स immediate neighbor the immediate neighbor of b faces the person faces the person who sits third to the left of p p first to the left second to the left third to the left okay the immediate neighbor of b neighbor yahan pe bhi ho sakta hai yahan pe bhi ho sakta hai b ke liye to hame pata nahi hai uska neighbor kaha hai wo neighbor jo hai third to left of p beta third to left of p beta समझ रहे आप समझ रहे आप बी का जो भी नेबर रहेगा वो वो नेबर थर्ड टू लेफ्ट ऑफ पी बैठा हुआ है एक नेबर है ठीक है नेक्स्ट अगला कंडीशन देखते हैं आर एंड टी आर इमीडिएट नेबर्स आर एंड टी इमीडिएट नेबर्स है मतलब आर और टी साथ में रहेंगे आर और टी साथ में रहेंगे मैंने उसको डिनोट किया एक सर्कल के साथ आर एंड टी आर इमीडिएट नेबर्स सी सिट्स सेकेंड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ ए सी सिट्स सेकेंड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ ए अपना जो सी है वो सेकेंड टू द लेफ्ट है फर्स्ट टू द लेफ्ट सेकेंड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ ए ऑफ ए मैंने मतलब ए से एक एरो मार्क बना दिया चलो देखते हैं सी सिट सेकेंड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ ए टी डज नॉट फेस द इमीडिएट नेबर ऑफ डी टी डज नॉट फेस द इमीडिएट नेबर ऑफ डी टी इमीडिएट नेबर वट एवर इमीडिएट नेबर डी एज इमीडिएट नेबर ऑफ टी डी डज नॉट फेस टी डज नॉट पे एम्फोसिस कीजिएगा यहाँ पे डज नॉट पे एम्फोसिस करना पड़ेगा वेन एवर यू आर मेकिंग इट यू हैव टू मेक इट क्लियर दैट यू मार्क अ इन टू मार्क देर टी डज नॉट फेस द इमीडिएट नेबर ऑफ डी दीज आर द कंडीशन दैट आर गिवन टू एस नाउ इफ वी स्टार्ट अपलाइंग दिस इफ वी स्टार्ट अपलाइंग दिस आई वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट कंडीशन दैट इज गिवन टू एस वट डज द कंडीशन से वी हैव ऑलरेडी प्लेस बी एंड एफ लेट्स लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट दिस कंडीशन यर एस सिट्स थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ क्यू एस एस सेटिंग थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ क्यू थर्ड टू द राइट ऑफ क्यू नाउ स्टार्ट थिंकिंग इफ आई प्लेस माई क्यू हियर बिकॉज क्यू इज सेटिंग एट वन ऑफ द एक्सट्रीमेंट इफ आई प्लेस माई क्यू हियर इज देर एनी थर्ड टू द राइट इज देर एनी थर्ड टू द राइट बिकॉज इज फेसिंग दिस वे दिस विल बी इज राइट एंड दिस विल बी इज लेफ्ट एंड द पीपल हुर फेसिंग दिस वे दे हैव द राइट हियर एंड लेफ्ट हियर यस इज देर एनी थर्ड टू राइट इफ क्यू क्यू सिट्स हियर एट दिस एक्सट्रीमेंट नो सो If Q sits here, now third to the right, third to the right of Q, can we have S? And he is also sitting at the extreme end. Yes, I can start with this. Third to the right, one of the extreme end. Third to the right of Q. First to the right, second to the right, third to the right. I can have S here. More than half of the question is solved with this because I have a data here which says the person who is sitting next to Q. the person who is sitting opposite to q i do not know who that person is okay to this person e is sitting e is it e is it this person sits second to the right of e this person sits second to the right of e second to the right of e first to the right second to the right second to the right of e yes now now we have another condition with respect to abc which says c is it second to the left of a Where can I place my A here now? A has to be here, and second to the left, C has to be here. Once this is done, the only person who is remaining is who? D, and D will come here. Now, with respect to D, I have a condition. What does that condition say? D condition, the one which you wrote in the rash. It says the neighbor of D, neighbor of D. There is only one neighbor of D. Let us be opposite to him. T cannot be there. let me mark it here that t cannot be here t cannot be here now is there any condition another condition let's use something q is done s or q is done e is done c is done yes we are left with this p yes the neighbor of b the neighbor of b the neighbors of b have a person neighbor of b there is only one neighbor of b left out the one neighbor of b or the other neighbor of b is already being occupied by q so there is only one neighbor of e okay there is only one neighbor of e 
and this is this space. Now, this space, this space here is second to the left of, sec, third to the left of P. Yes, third to the left of P. Now, which is left? Left is this, third to the left of P. Now, if P sits here, first to the left, second to the left, third to the left. No, we cannot have it here. Now, if P sits here, if P sits here, first to the left, second to the left, third to the left. Yes. Now, this person can be some, some person who is sitting opposite to B and he is, he is, he is, yes, sitting third to the left of P. The neighbor of B is sitting opposite to third to the left of P. Yes, third to the left of P. That is satisfied. Now, let's have a look at this condition that we have here. R and T are sitting together. There are only two blanks left out now. Where are three blanks left out now? But two blanks are available at once. Two blanks are available in one side. We are available in one side. We are available in one side. R and T are available in one side. But T is not available in one side. So T is available in one side. T is available in one T अगर यहाँ पर आ गया immediate neighbour से मतलब R यहाँ पे आ गया तो बचा कौन बचा अपना P Q R S T V V बच गया so it is solved and this one is solved if I could have put it here if I could have put it here it would have gone wrong why would I, why would I have, it would have gone wrong just let let's just check let's just check B and F यहाँ पे बन गया तो अपना Q तो यहीं पे आएगा there is no other option there will be a person opposite person opposite and next to him will be E. Next to him will be E. That is what I have written here. Now, A will come here for sure. A will come here for sure. Second to the left, C will be there. C will come here. Yes, C bhi yaan pe aagya. Toh, ye toh DE ban gaya. Ye yaan tak sahi chal raha hai. Is se teen chod ke S aana chahi yeh ta. Ek, do, teen, teen chod ke S bhi aagya. Thik hai. Aage dekhte hai. Aage dekhte hai. Agar mein ap P, P kahi pe bhi banao. Agar mein apna P ap kahi pe bhi banao. उसके थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट पे थर्ड टू द पी के थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट पे बी का नेबर आना चाहिए बी का नेबर थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट आना चाहिए मैं ज्यादा से ज्यादा क्या हो सकता है मैं पी यहां पे ले सकता हूं वही खुद बी का नेबर है तो आ ही नहीं सकता थर्ड टू द लेफ्ट जितना डिस्टेंस दिया ही नहीं है पी के लिए तो ये हो गया गलत तो ये सही है चलिए दीज दीज वर द फ्यू टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट अपियर टू इन यू इन योर एग्जामिनेशन विल बी टेकिंग अप मेनी मेनी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड विथ द नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू सॉल्व यू विल बिल्ड एन अप्रोच टू सॉल्व दैम जैसे जैसे आप क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करते जाओगे आपका अप्रोच बेहतर और और बेहतर होने लगेगा सो ऑल माई रिक्वेस्ट इज इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच द वीडियो ऑन प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑन द पावर सेट uh seating arrangement and uh, puzzles please go and watch it and share the word and if you haven't still subscribed to our channel please do thank you so much have a nice day